Last month, the Constitutional Court nullified the anti-homosexuality law on grounds that Parliament passed it without quorum in violation of the rules of procedure. Although the Attorney General filed a notice to appeal the unanimous verdict of the judges, that now seems scuttled. President Yuri Museveni summoned the meeting of the ruling National Resistance Movement Parliamentary Caucus in State House in Tebe to review the annulled law. This was after a substantial number of MPs called for return of the law. Our view is that the law should be retabled because Ugandans still want this law. The caucus named a nine-member special committee to review and harmonize the inconsistencies in the law to see whether it could be retabled in parliament. The nine-membered committee chaired by Vice President Edward Chiwanuka Sekandi has MPs David Bahati, the architect of the annulled law, Stephen Tashovia, Dr. Chris Bariomunsi, and Major General Jim Mwezi. Other members are Ministers Adolf Mwesje, Aida Nantaba, Ruth Nankabirwa, and Fred Ruhindi. The committee was given one month to report back to the caucus, and that time has now expired. And our report is ready. We are waiting for the leadership of the caucus to convene a caucus meeting, and then we shall be able to make a presentation. And once we, we are through with the national budget, then we should be able to handle that issue of the anti-homosexuality bill. Dr. Variomusi says the new bill could be retabled in parliament. It will go through the normal process where the bill is taken to committee and uh, people who are affected or who are interested in the law will still have the liberty to come and make their submissions to the committee. So amendments can still be made to the law. But sources told us that the committee was sharply divided on the recommendations. A member who declined to speak on camera said they had heated discussions with some members suggesting that the constitutional court ruling should be upheld and the Penal Code Act instead be amended and given teeth with some of the provisions in the annulled anti-homosexuality law incorporated. They cited the life imprisonment for aggravated homosexuality with minors. But some members said throwing out the law would be betrayal to the country. Among its terms of reference, the second committee looked at whether the act in criminalizing consensual same-sex among adults in private violates the right to equality before the law and the right to privacy provided in the Constitution. It is expected that the caucus will consider the second committee report in November. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.